Dragons have taken over the surface, forcing humans underground. You discover a box. You decide to open it. But you are cursed. Your only solution is to take out the friend on your left in Life Siphon. Welcome to Tantrum House Studio D, I'm Kevin Delp. Today we're looking at Life Siphon. It is a two to four player fighting game. It takes about 30 minutes to play. It's being published by Lay Waste Games. It's on Kickstarter this March. Let's look at the prototype components. There's a game board, cards, player markers, and miniatures. To set up, you'll shuffle the cards except for the five aspect cards and give one of the shuffled cards to each player. Place out three cards from the deck for all to see. Here's a quick overview of Life Siphon. On your turn, you're going to regenerate first, then you'll attack the player on your left, then you're going to do the main phase of your turn, which is getting more familiars, moving them, and playing cards. You're trying to reduce the life points of your opponent, the player on your left, uh, below one to win the game. But let's first look at the board. Each player controls a quadrant, in the quadrant, you have the summoning area, the movement row, the river, and the battleground. Notice that each area has a limited number of spots for familiars. During the regenerate phase, you get one life, but you can get additional life for each familiar in your river, never going over 20. Then you attack if you have any familiars in your battleground. You'll either be attacking your opponent's familiars or directly attacking your opponent based on the types of familiars you use. There are three types of familiars, the Dread Knight, the Imp, and the Lich. If attacking with the Dread Knight or Imp, then your opponent decides if the attacks go to their familiars or directly to them. If attacking with a Lich, then you get to decide who the Lich is attacking, your opponent's familiars or them. After you're done attacking, you move to the main phase where you can summon new familiars. Each one costs a little different based on the chart, and the cost is reducing your own health. Then you can move, which may further reduce health based on the chart as well, like the Dread Knight reduces your life by one for every movement. You can then play cards that can do things like looking at other players' cards and the Grim Vision. The Void Walk can return familiars on your board back to your summoning area. Uh, you can deal extra damage with the Life Siphon. The Dark Axe can increase your attack and more. There are also five aspect cards. When a draw aspect card is played, all aspect cards are discarded, and the active player chooses one of them and then passes the rest around the table until all players have one. They do things like uh, the aspect of the imp can gain the ability to turn one of your familiars into an imp. The aspect of the lich, uh, on your turn you get to choose one of the following things. The aspect of the dark, you can uh, regenerate an additional uh, life at the start of your turn, but you can never get more than three if you have this one. The aspect of the greed, when you draw a card at the end of your turn, instead of draw two, then discard one of the two cards. And then the aspect of the Dread Knight helps you with moving uh, the Dread Knight. I find it interesting that you're always attacking the player to your left. Although it might not be helpful to always help yourself, it might be beneficial to help others and to give them life so that the game can go on so they don't die, so they have the opportunity to continue to attack the player to your left, to your left, hopefully beating them and helping you win the game. Now this is just a prototype, but the pieces are pretty cool with the ones that we're using. Leeway's game's presentation was pretty outstanding, even with the box itself. As you open it, it says, you are cursed on the inside. I like the options that you have on your turn, especially when summoning the familiars. Uh, should you diversify and get different types of familiars? Or should you just go heavy on one kind, like say the Dread Knight? It might be easier or harder, uh, depending on maybe the player on your right trying to defeat you, depending on what you have. Or if you have a certain types of familiars, it makes it easier or harder for you to attack the player on your left. There are also fast cast cards that can help you out in a pinch but they do cost you some life. 
When I first heard the name of the game, Life Siphon, I actually wasn't sure what the game was about, but it actually makes sense now that I've played it because you are strategically using your life points throughout the game, whether you're summoning familiars or moving them, things like that. But you need to be careful as you're using those life points that you don't go too low to make yourself an easy target to get destroyed from the player on your right. So if you like battle type games or this sounds like something you would enjoy, then check out Life Siphon from Lay Waste Games on Kickstarter and be sure to subscribe to Tantrum House.